guys welcome back to our channel and thank you so much for watching this video today if you are new here please do not forget as usual please subscribe below and support the movement all right when you subscribe please turn on the notification bell so that um whenever i post a new content like this or a new video you would be the first to watch please for my returning subscribers thank you so much for the love and for my newcomers thank you so much for joining this amazing platform on here we do talk about scholarships cheap tuition university free tuition opportunities funding opportunities in europe and america all right so if this is something you have been looking for please keep watching today's video i'm going to be talking about a very cheap university in france all right you can actually apply for and start studies next year all right but if i find a school which i think is somehow good i will still bring the material here all right so today's video like i said i'll be talking about a cheap university in france and this time i will be talking about some of the courses that are available in this university for you to study all right i will equally talk about some of the requirements that you need to study in this university let me say before we continue with the video Please understand that um, if you want a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me, please check the video description box. Do or if you have a question that you think is very fast for me to respond, drop it in the comment section. I will be there with you. All right. I always respond to my comments, except I don't see the comments in case they are congested. So now today's video um, are programs in France, and I want to tell you that if you didn't know, if you are new to the channel, know that there are a lot of videos on this YouTube channel. I have like six or seven videos about cheap courses and cheap universities in France, and I will continue with this one to make it maybe eight or nine or plus. And this university, if you manage to get a bachelor's degree program in this school, you are going to be paying 170 euros per semester, all right? That is all you need for bachelor's programs taught in English language. Let me specify this. And again, if you manage to find a master's degree program that fits your academic background, then you are going to be paying 243 euros, all right? In this university, I haven't seen PhD programs, but I will look for other universities that have PhD programs. Most public universities in France have PhD programs that are just 380 euros and you are good to go. That is how most public schools are in France. I didn't say private universities. Please don't misquote me. With this amount, I think it's good for you to go. In Nigerian Naira, that should be around 83, 84,000 Naira, right? In France, CFA, Cameroon money, that should be around maybe 90,000, all right? That is very small amount of money to pay for tuition fee in France. If you manage to get your admission, then you pay that amount every semester. All you need after the admissions is to pay that amount. And you can pay even in installments. Yes, it is possible for you to use instrumental plan and you, you do the payment, all right? They may give you three or four installments to pay that money. Imagine. So that is what you should understand. Again, after you get your admission, all you need is your proof of funds and you apply for your uh, student visa to France and that is it now let's move first of all to the requirements you need to study in France a lot of people have been asking me if they can use HND to study in France if you want to use HND to study in France then it should be masters one as I know and again remember HND is not up to a degree program as most European universities term it so you should be able to prove your worth that you are more than that level of HND all right because they consider HND to be a two years course and a bachelor degree is three years I hope you understand so you should be able to prove yourself worthy to the extent that they can accept you into the program but again when you are applying to French universities for bachelors make sure you take the license one two three all right you may decide to apply for license three courses or if you want to take HND or if you want to apply for masters take masters one for France all right now remember there are like there is license one license two license three for bachelor's degree levels all right level one level two level three that's three years for bachelor's and for masters in France you have masters one and masters two all right level uh, year one and year two so this is how it is distributed always make sure you put it into consideration now in this university there are a lot of programs but if I talk about the programs remember admissions have started in most French universities I said it is usually between October and December and sometimes some schools extend to like January and February so like I said most schools will close around December so try to apply now check the universities that are open and apply now if you have a problem always contact campus France because campus France is the agency it is like an agency a French state agency that does application and other activities for international students in form in case they want to relocate to France all right contact 
Campus France, then Campus France will arrange everything and submit your application to the university. All right, it is your, if you submit it yourself, it is not going to be looked into in case the university says it is Campus France submitting the documents to them because there are a lot of universities that will state that Campus France is the one to submit the documents. So now, the basic documents you need to apply for degree programs in France include your certificate, bachelor's degree certificate and transcript in case you are going for masters, all right? Then make sure the transcript is well organized, all right? All ECTS and all your courses on it, okay? Full transcript with at least 180 ECTS credit units. Then you have your motivation letter, which is a statement of purpose. With the motivation letter, you um, basically just write what motivated you to apply for the course or maybe what are some of the things that inspired you and what are you going to gain from the course. That is it. Then you also have your academic CV attached to it, a copy of your international passport, that is the passport data page, all right, your English proficiency in case the course does not waive English proficiency. Those who come from English-speaking countries like Nigeria, Ghana, Cameroon, all right, sometimes you may even find it on the website, they will say Cameroonian should be from the southwest and the northwest region these are the english speaking regions in cameroon all right so make sure you always look the requirements very well to know then you equally need your yx certificate um if you have something like the naptech all right it's equally accepted as well but make sure it is very clear and visible to the point why wese is also very good for you to study a bachelor's degree in france but you need motivation letter cv and english uh, proficiency okay so these are basically the documents you need to study in france or any other university a part of um, any university in france you need this now what are the programs in this university that you need to know there are a lot of programs and the name of the university i want to tell you before i forget is the called the university of nantes this is called uh, university nantes you may find it university nantes in the description box in english nantes is spelled n-a-n-t-e-s all right that's a city in france so in this school you can study um computer sciences all right for the first year for computer science which is a master's degree in optimization in operations research it is a branch in computer science you are going to be studying in french all right for the first semester and english for the second semester for the first year then the second year all the courses in english for the first semester and second uh, semester are all in english language then you equally have an internship in france in the second year or abroad all right so this is what you need another to know. course you need to take or you need is biological and earth sciences it is also um a master's degree course and in this case there are so many things that have been added to there is also an internship all right you can equally do a bachelor's degree with this course all right biology and earth sciences there is a bachelor's which is second and third year in advanced biology training it's possible for you to study this program in english biology course for bachelors and it is also available for masters and the course for masters is uh, earth planetary and environmental sciences where you have things related to bio production aquaculture environmental science marine ecology or marine ecosystem all right the last year also also involves an internship in france so please go through the website very well to understand then uh, there is a part of the university of nantes called polytechnic nantes it is a polytechnic institute in this institute you can study english taught programs fully english like you have courses there like data science you have electrical energy thermal science energy micro algae bioprocessing engineering or a micro algae bioprocessing engineering visual computing wireless embedded technology i'm taking time to read out the courses available because i know some people will not want to like go do research so if you find a course that you think match your bachelor's degree qualifications then you should just look for the application link and start the work or you contact campus france there is also a master's degree program in nanoscience um, nanotechnology all right there is also oh, the last semesters you will equally get um, internships in france or abroad it all depends on negotiation with your department or your university course still found in the university of nantes that is taught in english language is master's degree in renewable based structural maintenance of marine renewable energy all right basically it's a renewable energy and this program is like it has partnership with uh, norwegian university of science and technology or no ntnu or in uh, 
programs like this, renewable energy and all that. So there are some students who are doing Erasmus Mundo scholarship. There is a program that is found in this university, all right? This university is a very powerful school in Norway, and I think it should be the second largest school, if not the largest school. So you should just check the programs. They equally have programs in humanity, social science. That is bachelor's degree. Eh? This time is bachelor's degree in foreign languages, and you also have master's degree in English language, all right? You should check that out. You also have master's degree in English language to international trade. Then they equally have bachelor's degree in humanities and all these programs the second semester usually involves an internship and uh, of course either in france an internship in france or an internship abroad so you should just check that remember i said this university is a very cheap school all right you are going to be spending 170 euros for tuition for bsc programs master's programs 243 then phd programs in case they do exist but i'm going to check to see if there are phd programs available in this university okay so you can check that out and see what is happening then of the mode of procedure or let me say the mode of application i already explained to you you go to the university site you check the full requirements check some programs may not need motivation letters then when you find the requirements now it is now left for you to launch your application all right if you don't find a link to apply directly on the university's website go to campus france just type campus france nigeria campus france ghana campus france cameroon and you go to the section at the top page which says étudiant and france it is eef okay make sure you change the portal to everything on campus france to english it will be in french change it to english then you look for this course if you don't find the course you can just go directly to the university site you must not find courses in campus france all right you can still go like you locate university of nantes like the way i found out this research now i went directly to the university of france to of nantes i didn't go to campus france to check the website all right so you can do it like that check your courses like that go straight to the university's website and decide which course you want to really apply to then go to the application portal if they say apply and you click and it says go to campus france that is where you must go to campus france for them to submit your application to this university remember i said it is an agency a french state agency or a french based agency that controls all things visas to france and all the rest nowadays if you want to apply for a french study visa you have to pass through campus france and sometimes they will even be the one to interview you all right so you should know all of these things and know what you are doing now when you get your admissions there are certain things you need to do probably pay part of your tuition fee then you organize your documents you book an appointment you go with the documents to the embassy to the campus france it is campus france that is going to submit your documents to the french embassies procedure may not be the same in all countries in africa it may differ in your own home country but that is what i know is almost the same in almost every country nowadays so links will be in the video description box all you need to do is to check all the links and start an application don't forget i said most applications are closing december all right so you should be fast about what you are doing and and i hope this program is going to help you for the admissions or let me say the application procedure i do not think uh, the procedure is that difficult but i'm still going to check and bring in another video there is another cheap university i will be talking about then i will talk about the courses available so that in case you just heard of a course that suits your bachelor's or suits your master's or let me say suits your bachelor's level then you can just apply for the master's degree okay those who are applying with HND, try to first of all speak to your university before you try to apply for um, license 3 or probably master's 1. I hope you understand. So, see you in another video. Bye.